New details this midday after a tragedy at the Obama estate in Martha's Vineyard. An employee of the former president apparently, di apparently died while paddle boarding. ABC's DeMarco Morgan reports. African American male is on a paddle board, no life preserver. This morning, tragedy unfolding near the Obama family's Martha's Vineyard estate. Police recovering the body of 45-year-old Tafari Campbell, a beloved personal chef and friend of the former president and first lady. The call for help came in Sunday evening for the missing paddleboarder, who witnesses tell police was last seen wearing all black before they eventually lost eye contact with him. A 40-year-old male, possible drowning. Campbell's paddleboard and hat would surface, but no sign of Campbell. Then the unimaginable. The husband and father of two found a dead 100 feet from shore at a depth of about eight feet in the Edgartown Great Pond. Police say divers found his body by deploying a side scan sonar from a boat. Campbell first worked as a sous chef for the Obamas at the White House. Gotta keep it under lock and key. Seen here brewing beer in this White House video. What you do is you take the beer bottle. Now authorities investigating the drowning. Campbell was on the vineyard visiting. The Obamas were not there at the time of the incident. Mr. and Mrs. Obama releasing a statement calling him a warm, fun, extraordinary, kind person who made all of our lives a little brighter, adding he was a talented sous chef at the White House. He's been part of our lives ever since, and our hearts are broken that he's gone. Campbell is survived by his wife and their twin boys. The couple's Instagram posts over the years showing their close relationship and tight-knit family.